Mr. Secretary, it's good to uh, welcome you and your delegation again. Uh, we're fighting uh, a war of uh, civilization against barbarism. I can say that uh, when we spoke, I expressed again our commitment, Israel's commitment to achieve total victory against Hamas. Uh, and we think that this is not only our war, but in many ways your war, because you are leading the forces of civilization in the world. Uh, this is a battle against the Iranian axis, the Iranian axis of terror, which is now threatening to close the maritime strait of Bab el-Mandeb. This threatens the freedom of navigation of the entire world. I appreciate the fact that you are taking action to uh, open that strait. It's not only our interest, uh, it is the interest, I think, of the entire civilized community. And I want to thank you for the support that you have shown consistently, uh, and I welcome the opportunity to talk about what else we're doing to have uh, our common interests served, Mr. Prime Minister? Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister Netanyahu, thanks for hosting us again. This is my fourth visit to Israel's Secretary of Defense and my second uh, since the terrible day of October 7th. Uh, I'm here to underscore what President Biden has said again and again. Our commitment to Israel is unshakable. I know that Israel is a small, uh, tight-knit country, and I know that all Israelis were touched by the vast evil committed by Hamas. So I'm here uh, to mourn with you for the innocent souls taken uh, from you on October 7th, and I'm also here to uh, stand alongside the families of those still missing in Gaza, including U.S. citizens. America's commitment to Israel is unwavering. And no individual, group, or state should test our resolve. So in the Red Sea, we're leading a multinational maritime task force to uphold the bedrock principle of freedom of navigation. Iran's support for Houthi attacks on commercial vessels must stop. Now, we'll continue to provide Israel with the equipment that you need to defend your country, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, including critical munitions, tactical vehicles, and air defense systems. We'll continue to support Israel's mission to find and free all of the hostages. And I'm also here to discuss how we can best support Israel on a path to lasting security. And that means tackling urgent needs first. We must get more humanitarian assistance uh, into the nearly two million displaced people in Gaza, and we must distribute that aid better. And we want to thank you for uh, the recent uh, initiatives that you've taken, Mr. Prime Minister, we applaud that, and, and hopefully that will enable us to uh, to move even more in. Uh, so, thanks for again being a great host, and I look forward to a great discussion, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you.